try. Oh, no, there's still a break between now and then, so the, the continuity thing perhaps isn't as relevant. But, uh, you know, I think that there was some players who deserved opportunities to be seen in the Test Match Arena. And um, there's been some tight calls. And I suppose that's the... That's the signal that, you know, the team's looking for players that want to make those spots their own. So here's the opportunity for these guys. You see Rob Horn coming to the side, wasn't he in the squad originally? Um, what, what have you seen from him? Played, I think he's been just simple things, running hard, tackling hard. He's been working hard off the ball. Um, he does what he, he's done, you know what I mean, for Australia and and, um, and, and, and for New South Wales as well when he's played there. and. He's just really got it, has had a good work ethic. I think, he, like he said at the start of the camp when he came in, or the series, that he you know, he wants to treasure every chance he gets before he goes away. And I, and I think that he deserves his chance by the way he's been operating. Yeah. He is going away, and this could have been, a lot of people would say this third test is an opportunity to some new talent. Talk us through that. Well, I don't know how much more new talent you want blooded. Like, we've had 20 debutants nearly over a year and a half. So it's not just... Uh, it's not just give away the jersey to whoever you think is, you know. The, these jerseys have been worn by players who have worked hard and have performed for Australia at the top, top level. And, you know, I take it very seriously in giving, you know, giving a player that opportunity. I feel like he's got to earn it. And there are some players in that position. Obviously, we're missing Samu at the moment. Um, and there's some other players who I think have been going well in Super Rugby, Curtis Reino, Tom English. Uh, but I think that um, you've got to earn to that, that jersey. And I think Rob Horn, you know, since I've been seen him in the camp, has got that opportunity to... I think he's earned that opportunity to do it. Well, maybe that's why he hasn't been this side, because he hasn't played a lot of footy. He needed to get some running under him, you know, because he was blowing pretty hard when he first got into camp, you know. And he, he still is. It's going to be a big challenge for him. But uh, I, I probably... Thinking about where Lepetti was last year for us, ideally he was coming in and playing from the start, you'd think, but he didn't have the fitness level. We've worked hard with him over the two and a half weeks since he's been in, and um, and we're banking on him, you know, getting out there. He's, he's quite keen for it. I think he's been on my case about it, and I told him that that's what I need to see. I need to see him working harder. He's worked pretty hard at training, so it's his chance. We'll see on Saturday, won't we? You know, like. Obviously, I believe he will because I picked him. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an opportunity for for him now. You know, he's missed those first opportunities. He hasn't had himself in the right nick, so he's a chance for him to do. I think that I've been pretty clear on that matter that we we need to be fitter all round. You know, and I. I don't think I'm speaking out of school there because I spoke with the state coaches as well about it when we had our recent meeting and they agree. So together, we'll work on getting that better in next season so that we are, we've got plans that were, you know, sort of connected in together so that we don't have to deal with that issue, you know what I mean, when it comes up here because it's a, it is faster and, it, and therefore it becomes... You know, bigger collisions, the game's going faster, all those things happen and it takes more, there's more intensity in the training weeks because you're going to have more intensity in the game. What has Stephen done to only recruit his I couldn't pin that down to like one thing in particular. It's sort of not how we work when it comes to that. I think Moore's um, obviously the captain of the team, he's got a lot of experience. Um, I, I still think Polite now is putting out a big challenge to him and I want to give more the chance to respond and say, OK, well, this is what I've got starting from, you know, in the, being in the starting team. And there is a bit of that. I, will be, I, I think that's only right to have that type of competition because when we're competing hard for, against each other for places, we'll compete hard against the opposition. Is it plan to do that? Is it straight? I know you spoke about that. No, no, not really. Like, we, I just sort of let it run, you know, week to week. I knew that I'd want to give him a game somewhere along the line, whether it was the second or the third as a starter, and it I ended up being the third that I decided to go there with. No, I think that Hooper's done an outstanding job. 
we always said from the start that Moore's the captain of the team, you know, in, in this series, and and I think they've worked really, really well together. And you know, there's not even a question about that. Moore comes in, he stays captain. Doesn't mean Hooper stops leading. Uh, he leads from the front on most occasions as it is, but he's in, he's improved so much in the way he's becoming, a, you know, a leader of men as well around the around the team, and that will continue because you know. Um, that's, he, he's a real advocate, Hooper, of, of what we do, and I think that he's, um, he, his form rep, rep, represents that too. Who, sorry? Yeah. Rory Arnold. He's a big, big body, and uh, he, he wants to, he needs to be bringing, well, what he knows I want him to bring is aggression to the game. You know, very strong set piece, a strong ball carry, and a certain amount of aggression that goes with being a guy that big playing in the tight five. No, that's what rugby's about, you know, dominating in the forward encounters and then letting your backs get on the back of that, and that's why he's been selected in the side. Like, um, yeah, like yeah, and maybe we went for a slightly, we looked at a slight different mix this year. Carter's had good form during Super Rugby around his work rate, etc. And so we went for a slightly different mix where we thought that you know having that combination on the field and letting Rory complete games would be an option for us. Now is again his chance to start. So let's see if he takes his opportunity. Do you think they'll be throwing any surprises against Well they've got a track record of doing that. They've got they and we've discussed those opportunities that could occur in the game and how we deal with them. They've got, you know, clever coaching team and they'll, they'll, they've done a lot of, you know, they've got a lot of little things from that to, you know, two-man lineouts or, you know, they've got some uh, very different switchbacks down, you know, or first phase back down the blind side. So they've, we've got to be aware of all those things but not let them override us playing our game and, and getting our game into their, in their zone and letting them deal with us as well. And, and starting, uh, how much relish have we got for... Uh, Oh, it's a big week, no doubt. I think, particularly after last week, you know, it's a uh, game can't come quick enough really for everyone. So, you know, can't wait to get out there and you know, home ground would be great. Yeah, nice. Oh, look, I think we want to try and keep that internally pretty, pretty consistent. Like our preparation, the way we review games, all our behaviours. Like we, we can't be letting results dictate how we behave, whether it's a win or a loss. So we want to be consistent like that, but sure, we certainly feel uh, how the fans feel as well, and we take that all on board, and, and checks talk to a lot of that early in the week. But at the end, end of the day, you need your own motivation, and, and it's got to be something that comes from within rather than external things. And, and um, you know, if you're looking for external motivation, that's a, you know, a little bit shallow. You've made the top 10 full-time most cap players internationally. Uh, is that something that you ever thought when you started out you'd get there? No, not at all, mate. I think you know that's something I wasn't actually aware of. But uh, look, it's nice to, to hear that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, there's a there's a big job at hand, and and uh, you know we need to go out there and play well as a team this week. So you know I'm glad to, to be given an opportunity to play this week, and I want to go out there and make it count. Not just yeah, I think you see with a young group, young players obviously react to wins and losses probably more than, than as you get a bit older. You sort of learn to, to go at the ups and downs and be a bit more consistent. So we need to be driving that winning culture within the team and, and the results really, really impact the way the group feels and, and also people outside the team, the fans and and all the supporters that want us to do well. So this game's crucial in that regard. We need to go out and play well, and um, you know the result will take care of itself if we do go out there and, and play how we want to play. Yeah, it is. Very, very it's, it's a very different. It's really a role in itself these days, the way we talk about it, the way they prepare. Uh, you know, the guys that finish the game play a massive role. So it's a different mindset. Obviously, that, you know, when the anthems are sung, you go and sit down for half an hour, which is not something that, you, that I've been used to, but uh, you know, mentally it's a different approach to the game and you know, that, that's uh, something you need to get used to.
Yeah, I think, well, given that it's a national team, you, you want performance to be king, and that's how we want to drive it internally. You know, it's, it's about performance, and I spoke before about wins and losses. That, that's obviously the end result, but the performance is the, the key, so individually and collectively. So that, that's got to drive everything, and if we get that week on week, then you know, guys will get picked.